In 2006, at Channel 101, I made a short called The Real Animated Adventures of Doc and Marty. Don't be sad, Marty. We'll go back in time, and we'll make sure that your kite doesn't get stuck in the dream. All right, Doc, that sounds great. I had fallen in love throughout the course of making that cartoon with the voices of the two characters. I kept using those voices and things. You know what she said to me? Oh, Reggie, what she say, man? Tell her what she said. Mitchell, I'm trying to do science in the basement, Mitchell. Harmon calls me, and he's like, hey, Adult Swim is asking me about an animated project. Do you have anything? Like, do you have any ideas? I'm like, well, what about, you know, what about those characters? I think we got as far as an animatic, and, and the animatic went over to Cartoon Network, and the thoughts coming back were, this is great in this way, and that way, and that way, and by the way, I think we should cast Morty. I don't think Justin should do both voices. I, I just felt, wow, I don't like Morty. I really like Rick, but while Morty's funny for a couple minutes, I'm gonna get really tired of this. That was initially read as, could you recast Morty? And I was like, fuck, okay. Cause like I, I knew for me, a big part of the show was like riffing back and forth with the character, you know, doing both characters. So Justin was terrified. I know Justin was freaked out. Harmon gave me really good advice. He's like, let's just, let's just see this through and let's, let's see what happens. We auditioned just a billion people. I remember we submitted our top three and Lazo didn't like any of them. He was like, these are all just as bad. And we were like, okay. We gotta get on the phone with Lazo. I dreaded that phone call, because I was like, man, now I'm thinking this is it, because the, like everything's gonna fall apart. Mike Lazo's on the phone, and I, I haven't worked with him that much, and he gets to the meat of it, which is like, you know, it's not, it's not the voice, it's the fact that the character is such a punching bag. I made a dinosaur! You and you and oh, you and no. you made a dinosaur! Oh, I made a dinosaur! Oh, Morty! Oh. What did you think was gonna happen, Morty? What that I thing do? makes dinosaurs oh. when you touch oh, it, Morty! I made a dinosaur! He was designed to be a stupid machine so that Rick could cuss at him. That's okay for five minutes, but if you're gonna make ten and a half hours, it's not gonna work. On that call, I said, listen, let me, let me take another crack at the character. And he's like, that's fine, go for it. I started workshopping scenes. Harmon wrote me an email with like all these little paragraphs. So all of these scenes need to illustrate him standing up to Rick, you know? Um, because that never happened in the original pilot script, not once. And one of them was they're in a flying car and Rick is drunk and he's gonna destroy the world with a neutron bomb. She's probably nothing but trouble anyway. Army, neutrino bomb. That's it, that's it, Rick. I'm taking the get wheel. Out, get off of me, Morty. I'm taking Come charge on. of this situation, buddy. Oh, what's gotten into I'm, you? I'm, I'm, I'm pooped. I'm, I'm, you love I'm, I'm so I'm much money. I'm not gonna stand some sort of dumb, dumb. What are you, crazy? I'm just let, let you all right, the whole world. All right, all right, Morty, all right, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll land, I'll land. I get a call at like eight in the morning. It wakes me up and it's fucking 415 area code. I'm like, oh shit, this is Adult Swim. So I answer it and it's Lazo. And he's like, all right, I watched the, I watched the stuff. All right, you, you, got the, you got it, you can do Morty. And I'm like, fuck, okay, holy shit. Morty, to me, is one of the deepest characters in the show now because he has to deal with the most and he, in essence, is the audience. You know, when I watch Rick and Morty, I am Morty. It's funny because it's like, it was one of the worst crises to happen in the history of Rick and Morty's development, the potential of Justin not doing both voices. And it was the greatest thing that happened. It was this final puzzle piece. I mean, listen, it is, it is humbling to see how big this machine is, has gotten. Like, there are times where I'm like, what have I gotten myself into? It started out as me making dumb cartoons with my friends in my apartment, and now it's me making dumb cartoons with hundreds of amazing people. You know, I've seen some of the episodes 10 times. They don't get old. I mean, that's the basis of great entertainment. I want to see it again. I mean, it really is cool to think back about how it all began. The best thing about it is that it proves a certain religion right, which is be yourself, work with your friends, don't tell jokes that don't make you laugh, don't tell stories that don't make you cry, and everything else is gonna come out in the wash. Otherwise, what good is capitalism? If it can't figure out what's awesome, you know, I don't know, I can't, I'm babbling at the end. I can't even do my fucking documentary interview right.